death toll from the horror accident on the N4 has risen to 15, and an analyst is disputing the annual crime statistics. With this update, I'm Javi Malazi. The death toll from the horror accident on the N4 near Zirast in northwest has risen to 15. A minibus and a buggy both burst into flames after colliding on the highway. The buggy is reported to have plunged into the minibus after a tire burst. The victims include 10 teachers who were traveling in the minibus. Fire and emergency services Zulile Zinzi says 14 of the victims burned to death inside the two vehicles while another person died on the way to hospital. We managed to identify four uh, diseases. Then beyond the combination in the party, and then in the Kumbi, we managed to identify about 10, also then beyond the combination in the Kumbi. An analyst is disputing the annual crime statistics released yesterday, saying they're not a reflection of the true crime situation in South Africa. Gareth Newman is a crime analyst at the Institute of Security Studies. He says statistics are only used to tell whether the crime problem is getting worse or better, rather than show the size of the problem. Well, the statistics don't tell us exactly uh, the entire picture of crime in South Africa. We know that the most reliable crime statistic is murder because there's usually a body um, and evidence that somebody's been murdered. But we know that many other crimes, such as street robberies, housebreakings, um, and rape, for instance, are very underreported, sometimes less than half the number of cases that actually occur are reported to the police. National Police Commissioner General Baikitkale says the reduction in serious crime suggested by the statistics can be attributed to community involvement. General Kale says structures as community policing forums have played a major role. We thank the communities that have become the part of policing, the kind of assistance they give to the police in terms of information and working together in many other structures and the communities working together. I think it's an effort of all those responsible working towards the better South Africa. And finally, Libyan rebels say they've located our state leader, Mama Gaddafi, but won't say where. They say his capture is a matter of time. A spokesperson for the National Transitional Council has told Al Arabiya TV that they've set up special units to hunt for Gaddafi. The units are tracking phone calls made by the former leader's aides. Gaddafi is believed to be hiding in one of the three areas which are still under the control of his followers. His hometown of Sete, the city of Bani Walid, southeast of Tripoli, or the city of Saba in the southern desert. Catch the latest news on the hour on SABC radio stations and anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.